What's up guys, it's Chris. Today we're taking a look at the best tag build in Dead by Daylight and it's definitely a weird one. For the add-ons, we have the very strong rusty shackles so survivors don't know when they hit a trap and the dried cicada so we can teleport to traps from farther away. For the perks, we have corrupt to allow us to set up our traps and not have too many gens popping. Monitor to make our tier radius eight meters smaller when not in chase and eight meters bigger in chase. Hunter grounds to make two hexes that will make all survivors exposed if someone cleanses them. And thrill the hunt to make it take 50% longer to boon or cleanse a totem. This build really does look strange, I know, but just watch these games and you'll understand everything. All right, so here we are with the best hag build. And yeah, I think it really, really helps her with her biggest downside in the current uh, point in time anyway, which definitely is those boons. Just make her feel so bad some games. Uh, instead, if they do want to end up booning those totems, which we have three of... Um, Found two people here. Let's see if we can push them around to our our little area. Uh, it'll take them like a minute. Oh, nice fake out. Very nice. Oh my gosh, Shack Pellet at five gens. Can't complain about that. Ever. Put one little trap there. Just keep an eye on the area for a bit. Yeah, it'll take him like a minute to look at this. She's trying to do the totem. It just takes so long. Very nice. Yeah, that probably took that person upwards of a minute to do, and then it made her teammate instant outable, which is obviously not a fantastic thing. Now well, she's got her sprint burst ready to go. Very nice. It's a good little setup here. There we go. Two downs on a haunted grounds. Yeah, that's the thing too. So, uh, I didn't even have traps in this area. We still got stuff figured out, which is uh, a little surprising because Hag is pretty slow. But, uh, if I was a little more patient there, I think we could have got three downs. Don't want to get too greedy. Uh, they took all that time to cleanse that totem. Uh, where is she? She's like blended in here. Uh, all that time just for me to get two instant downs out of it. That's pretty crazy. I will set a trap right here. Just guard the hook a little bit. Looks like she's trying to get on my throw of the hunt. But yeah, obviously the main purpose of uh, these uh, perks, the totems, is to prevent just an insane amount of boons, which they will happen. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what her thought process there was, but I'll tell you mine. I'm getting another trap here, and I'm not going to be leaving the area for a little bit of time here now, I think. Yes, yes, I know. Evil camping man, but they gave me a slug next to my thrill. Uh, and somebody on the hook. Jill injured. I'm really in no rush. A nice web set up here as well. See them crouching around. Very nice. Doesn't quite run to where uh, traps are, but now that we have all this set up uh, and everybody injured, we can just replace that Claudette on the hook with Kate. Get a couple more traps set up in this region, and oh yeah, look at that. We got one right here, it's pretty hidden, and uh, right in their path. Deliverance, very nice. Deliverance and off the record. Yeah, she just wants to loop this strong pallet. Which, based off their, uh, skill levels, I think, is a bit of a mistake. She could also have DS. No off the record. No DS. So I'll be taking that. Very nice. Uh, we'll just break this one up. They've used this bat quite a bit, I think, this game. Not a bad idea at all. And get one of those there. Something in main building is definitely a good choice. 
Whoa, is that invisible? Oh my god, you can't even see that. Interesting. Yeah, look at that. You like can't even see that trip at all. I found you, Jillium. There we go. She's in kind of a deadly area to get hooked as well. Got one more trap ready too. Very nice. Yeah, look at this. I mean, this is just a death trap. That can be a lot to ask sometimes. I can't believe they made it to her, actually. And she tripped that one in main? No. Oh, it just lasted forever. Why do I keep thinking it's off the record? <laughs> okay, Claudette. Very, very nice build. Didn't work out exactly how I wanted it to, but uh, the value was still top-notch. I didn't see that Claudette pop her head up over here, so... Make sure we're not getting any weird stuff happening. Maybe even. Okay. A little bounce landing. And you don't really want to use your traps that much in chase, but, you know, she's the last person right here. And there she goes. Good game, buddy. And yeah, I do notice that looking in the bottom right corner. There, it is a weird looking build, I'm not gonna lie. But um, it really, really, really just pushes Hag's strengths and minimizes her weaknesses. Which, and with her kit, that's all you need. You don't need these crazy, you know, Colobrine eruption, uh, anything like that. You need her weaknesses taken down a little bit, which, you know, Circle of Healing is insane. It's an insane perk, and this build pretty much stops it, at least for the first you know, minute of the game, you know, if there's a boon up in the first minute, that's somebody who could have been doing an entire gen in that time, and <laughs> they chose to put up a boon. Rector's Yard this time around. Uh, the last map we got had really great grass, which, and that spot in the main building too, which made the traps almost invisible. This one, uh, not too fantastic as far as that goes, hiding our traps, but um, that's not really what we need at all. It's more of a thing for trapper. Uh, either way, it's still pretty hard to see, I'd say. Okay, so, we're gonna get our little web started again. Remembering that if they are doing those to totems right away, it takes forever to do so. Uh, I think this was a little Michaela here. Yep. She's got a flashlight too, so you wanna watch out for that. Uh, not a bad idea to leave her alone for a little bit. Get up a more traps here. I can also check on this gen. You know what? This guy is trying to... I don't know why it uh, did that with my FOV, honestly. Oh wait, we got someone else right here. Healthy person. After haunted. Are they in the locker? Huh. She was. My goodness. Well, that looks good, doesn't it? Very nice. Haunted grounds. Accidentally teleported to that other trap at first. It's a good start. Very good. You got really great value of our corrupt. We do definitely want to get some more traps set up there because now they've popped all of them. Did they both go down? Yes, but. Uh, at this point, oh, that boon, by the way, I think took upwards of 40 seconds, maybe a little more, uh, because it it was on a, a dull, which means it was not um, a hex's duration, but it still took a long time to do. Man, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Not a fan. Claudette is odd. She looks like a baby, but doesn't... Uh, I don't do normal baby mistakes. Found the boom too. It's excellent. Ah, someone is just following us, popping the traps. They're definitely gonna lose them. Yeah, no shot they can win. There it is. Yeah, just absolutely doomed with this guy just following us around. 
headset there. All right, buddy. That's looking like good game, fellas. All right, get another trap set up here, because why not? Yeah, very quick and easy games. It's uh, it's how it goes playing Hag a lot of the time. You don't really need crazy slowdown, because you're just going to die immediately. Let's try that one more time. No, sir. Let's get her nice and comfy on that hook right there. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, just no way you're getting out of the basement against that. That's another good thing about this map. And she just Kobe's first try. Totally makes sense now that you think about it. That Michaela is a fucking gen monkey. I wish I had a teammate like that in my games. <laughs> She's cooking about by herself. There we go. Good game, fellas. There we go. And that's all she wrote for these fellas. You don't need much on head. You don't need insane slowdown or anything to really make your chases faster. You just need to cut down the healing and get your setup. That's it. We didn't even get to do a fantastic job of keeping our traps set up the whole time because, you know, they were just running into them and dying, but obviously that's a good thing. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit that like button. Subscribe if you feel like it. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one.